Hola mis serenitas, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Chiquita Serenita and today we're doing a review and swatches of Milani's new Gilded Tierra palette. Now I saw that they had dropped this at Ulta and I just like ran to get it because I was really interested in the color story. First of all, I love, just love this whole design of it. I love the, the outside. It just reminds me of, you know... When you used to do those little colored sand and you would layer them, that's what it reminds me so much of and I just fell in love with it. When you open it up, it's pretty much the same as like the gilded gold and they have the same like, you know, just the setup of the whole palette. It's basically the same. They have their mirror. Right here it says we are Milani on the actual mirror and then these are the tones in here. Reminded me a lot. It gave me huge garden variety um, vibes from the ColourPop. It just, I don't know, that's the kind of um, vibe I got from it. I liked it in either way. I mean, Milani has really, really unique um, shimmer formula to them. It takes a little get you getting used to their formula. It's not the same as like the other companies that I've tried. Definitely not. They hold their own and it isn't really... It's, if you're lucky, like right now, this one costed $19 at Ulta. If you're lucky enough to snag it at either Target or Walmart, it's cheaper. It's about like $14.99, $15.99, something like that. So you'll get it a lot cheaper if you manage to snag it either at Target or Walmart. Right now, I don't think it's there yet. Right now, I only saw it at Ulta, but like definitely... If you are considering it, I would seriously wait until they dropped at either one of those locations. So if you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Sarah. I like to do makeup tutorials, mostly reviews, and then swatches. I swatch every single color and every single palette. Like if it's 30 shadows, we swatch in them all, which makes the videos take a little bit longer, but I do live swatches. And then I tend to upload one to two videos per week. That is my ultimate goal. If you manage to get more than two videos, consider yourself just lucky because life is crazy over here, okay? And then I do record videos in both Spanish and English. I always upload the English ones first. And then a couple like hours later, I upload the Spanish one. If I don't upload it that day, I always upload it the next day. I just don't want anything to be like, people get confused. I'll have people commenting on my Spanish video, can you do this review in English? And I'll, the vice versa, the same thing. And I'm like, there's already a version of this in English. <laughs> and there's already a version in this, like in Spanish, because they think that I only do like one language or something of that single palette or whatever. No, we do both languages. So please try not to get confused. Now, going back to the palette, you guys, I did not um, do a tutorial for this eye look that I have on my eye right now. But I will tell you guys what I used. I used so a Slow Burn right here. Slow Burn is a very... Um, terracotta orange very very pretty it's a matte i use that in my transition shade and then as an overall lid i used a sage advice which is a very pretty i want to call it like um it's a shimmer with multi glitters in there and it's green it's very very pretty you guys oh god i love that color it just has this like little shift to it for some reason it looks a bit like between a dark sage green and this sort of like lime reflect green in there, the glitters that are in there. At least that's what it looks like. It looks like a bunch of little multi shimmer glitters that reflect like this lime green in there. Right here in this corner and down here I used Beet Leaf. Right here it's a dark forest green. Very pretty. And then on this part of my eye right here. I use Take a Hike, which is a very bronzy orange type of shimmer. That one is so gorgeous. And then my inner corner highlight, I used Enjoy the View, which is just like a champagne-y, you know, shimmer. It's very pretty though still. I'm going to start swatching for you guys. And we're just going to start right here in this corner that's called Unplug. We're going to go straight across till we get to the end of this palette, okay? So first up is called Unplug. Um, this is just a matte. It's just a straight up matte vanilla. I think it's going to need more than one um, swatch because it looks like it's pretty, pretty light on its own. But it's pretty. I mean, I wouldn't use that one, but it's still a pretty color. 
Next up we have Weekender. Oh, this is such a gorgeous gold orange. Oh, I love it. It's a shimmer. That one's so, so pretty. Slow Burn is this dark terracotta orange, the one that I use for my transition shade. It's such a beautiful color, you guys. I think as an overall lid color, it would work on anyone because it's just dark enough. It is a matte, like I said. It's, that's a beautiful color. Then you have Take a Hike, and that is the one that I used right here, a very bronze tone orange. It's a shimmer. Such a beautiful, oh God, I love that color. Then you have Road to Nowhere. This is a matte. Um, it reminds me like a like a orange brown. Just a little bit of fallout in the right now kick up when I was like doing the swatch, but it's still a very pretty color. In the next row we have um, Bloom. This is a pinky matte. It's like a dark rose. I love this one. This is so pretty. And I'm going to give two swatches to that one. Look at that pink. That is such a pretty pink. Then you have no filter. This is another matte as well. Ooh, this is more of a Moby tone berry. Pink colored. Oh, I didn't get to use this one today. That's such a beautiful color. Look at that. Oh, God. It's like a mo purple, huh? With just like a slight tint of pink in it. Then you have Sage Advice. This is that one that I said I used as my overall lid. It's such a beautiful, just the sage green. And it has all these little micro glitters that are like lime green. So it's like a two, two tones in one, basically. I couldn't really say it's like a duochrome because it's not exactly a duochrome. It's just mostly like a shimmer with glitter. Spruce Up is another shimmer that has little glitters in it. It has like little... um. I want to say gold glitters. That's what it looks like in person. But it's just a brown. Look at that chocolate brown. Oh, God. It looks so delicious. I love that tone. It's just so pretty because it's practical. It's like a neutral color, right? You can do it for pretty much anything. And then we have glamping. Just look at this gold. Look at this. It, it looked like somebody just took a, like a gold necklace or whatever and melted it. So it looks like a metallic, oh God, that's such a pretty tone to add in here. And it almost looked foiled, you guys. I have little, there's little parts in there that look like foil. Look at that. Oh God, that's such a beautiful color. Then you have Enjoy the View. This is that one that I said that I used as my inner corner highlight. I'm going to add two. This looks like a foiled shimmer as well. But just look at that. It looks like a pearlesque champagne pink almost. Like a vanilla. Mm-hmm. Next we have a Good to Grow. This is a purple. I believe it's a matte. At least it feels like a matte. Yeah, this is a matte. And it has these little tiny shimmers in it. It's so pretty good god look at that purple lovers unite <laughs> love that one i am a huge purple that's like my favorite color i'm a huge purple fanatic you guys like a moss look at this green like oh ah just rub it all over my face this one it's so gorgeous it is a shimmer it's just this dark oh god look at that moss green that's a perfect like a moss. That's a perfect name for it. Then you have Branch Out. I'm going to put Branch Out up here along with that last one because it's just like a matte brown. Look at that. It's like a maroon brown. I love that tone. And then lastly, we have Bee Leaf, which is spelled B-E and then leaf together. So it's not like belief, you know? And that is just like a dark forest green, like a hunter green. It's a very soft. You know what I'm noticing? There's a huge difference between this Milani palette and the other Milani palettes that I've had in my collection. I want to say it now because I want you guys to know the formula is so different. I don't know if they changed it, but it definitely got better. I'm serious about that. The mattes in here are soft, 
not powdery in a way like it's crumbly no it's soft to the point where it's still pigmented but it's still workable i have not had one shade in here that is patchy and that says a lot okay for a brand like milani which is considered still considered like a drugstore brand to not have any patchy shades in there that is huge i'm telling you guys i have i had their gilded nude the gilded twilight the gilded um lust one i think it was called the gilded jewel one um gilded gold i had like five or six of their gilded series that i really really love this is by far the best one i'm not joking the best one so far the the um, i had no problems with blending none of that stuff i had such a huge problem with their last one which was the gilded jewel because i felt like it was too dark and, and it had to overwhelm my eye. If you're using it, you know, with other palettes, of course, it'll always work. But this one has the option to create several looks because it has enough of the neutral shades. You see, you have your browns, you have your golds, and then you have those greens and you have those purples. So you can create different looks with it, you know, versus the other one was all dark, all grungy. And it's like, I can't do any prep. Like, let's say you work in an office, right? You ain't gonna go looking like some type of 80s goth person every day, you know? It just doesn't work. It's not practical. And then I just want to give you guys a little close-up of all the colors. You guys, I'm not even gonna joke. Snag this one up. I've done, it's, it's so pretty. And the mattes. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised because I have a lot of their other ones. Well, I got rid of most of them. I have maybe like two of the ones that I, I had like six. And I'm like, dang, they changed their formula. I actually thought I'm not getting this one because I had such a problem with their first three, trying to get used to that formula. And then once I got around, you know, the shimmers were always good, but their mattes weren't really that good to me. And now that I'm looking at this one, they must have changed the formula. It's a thousand times better now than it ever was in their other ones. This one's good. So you guys better get it if you want it. You know, I'm not telling you guys go buy it. But still, if you like this tones and this color story, you get this thing. Dang, get it because it's nice. And that's pretty much it. You guys, I just did that little quick thing. I mean, it's not, like I said, it was like a little quick review. I don't really have a tutorial to this, so I can't really say anything about that. But I had no problems with any of the colors that I used on my eye right now. And all these ones swatch so incredibly good that it's ridiculous for being Milani and being that good. I'm impressed. So I'm going to let you guys go. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And until next time, stay warm, stay blessed, and stay magical. Bye, you guys.